getting back into Edge here. Now, it's been about a week um, of me using Edge, and i got to say I'm not overly uh, impressed. Um, it's I find on my system it's actually a bit slow. Uh, however, I'm going to stick it out for a bit longer, maybe after the next update or two, and we'll see we'll see what's what, because I really do have a lot of faith in Microsoft and what they, uh, what they put out. So what I want to tell you is how you can open up a new uh, private browsing session. So uh, in the previous version or previous version of Windows as well as Explorer, I could just right click on the icon and choose start in private browsing. And now it doesn't have that option. So what I've done is I've relied now on a keyboard shortcut. And that keyboard shortcut is Control Shift P. That'll start a new uh, in private browser. Now, in private, it doesn't use browsing data like cookies, history, temporary files. They're not stored. So it's actually very convenient if I'm over at a friend's house hanging out, you know, I want to use their computer, go whatever it might be, and I don't want it to affect their history and their settings. So using this in private browser can be kind of useful. If you don't like keyboard shortcuts and you wanted to open up an in private uh, browser window, you can always click the settings button or the more actions button in um, Edge and you can choose new in private window and it pops up. So I like to use this if you don't want to uh, affect someone's computer while you're browsing around or potentially you just want to browse the web without having access to your history and your cookies or your temporary files and it's not saved on the PC either. Uh, and when you close an in private session, it actually deletes uh, any stored files that were used during that session. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you can open up a new in private browsing window.